and drips away Days burn disintegrate Years roll along and fade Don't let them slip away Right here, right now, today These are the good old days Right here, right now, today Hey, these are the good old days In 1984, when Kenner released DC Comics' Superpowers Collection action figure, they created the most perfect line of action figure superheroes to date. These figures were great looking figures, they represented the characters properly, they had great action figures, great vehicles, and great playsets. They were perfect. For instance, if you take Batman, before this, there were some questionable figures that were released, and then the most popular one before the Superpowers was the Mego Batman. Now, the Amigo Batman was okay, but it was more of a doll than an action figure. Then in 1984, the Super Powers released the perfect Batman figure. So perfect that in 1989, when Toy Biz released their movie version of Batman, on the back of the package, they just painted a Super Powers Batman black because this Toy Biz figure wanted to be Super Powers cool so badly. And then when Toy Biz lost the license back to Kenner to make Michael Keaton Batman figures, they simply took the mold from the Superpowers Batman, retooled it a little bit to get the Dark Knight collection, which opened the door to the Batman collecting you know now, where there's a Batman for all seasons in every shape, size, and color under the rainbow. But for a few short years in 1984 to 1986, this perfect Batman figure was available. And to go with every perfect Batman figure, they also get a perfect Robin and a perfect Batman. The 1984 Superpowers Kenner Batmobile was amazing. It had gadgets, it had gizmos, it has all kinds of play features, it was striking, and it was awesome. And luckily, we have one here at Go Figure that needs some help. So let's see if we can not get it back on the road. What is that? I don't know, Robin, but we're going to find out. So here's our Batmobile, and it is not in great shape. You can see that it's missing its front windshields that the bumper won't stay uh, locked in, and the back claw is just uh, hanging free in there, and that all the controls on the inside are missing, as well as the steering wheel, the headlights don't move up and down, and the back bumper stickers are gone. So we're gonna do all of that together. First, let's get this thing apart. Alright, now that it's apart, um, you can see that there's quite a lot of engineering going on inside this Batmobile. Um, all these gadgets kind of work uh, in tandem. We're going to take all these parts out and we're going to see that we have some things we need to make. So this claw uh, is missing its spring and its little hook that would hook it on there and then when pressed it would release it back. So the spring is gone and because springs can be uh, tough to get the right uh, strength of the string, what I'm going to do is to, to reattach these two pieces together is I'm going to use an elastic band. But first we got to make up the piece that's missing that holds it in place and releases it. So here's the piece that we've made up that um, hopefully will uh, lock in place and then release it. Uh, it all depends on how much uh, flex this little piece has because this bar you see uh, holds it in place and kind of operates it like that. And so like I said, what we're going to do now is we're going to attach these two pieces um, which used to be attached with a spring but we're going to use an elastic band. I'm just going to use a little piece of a uh, spring from a pen to make a little loop that I can put my elastic band through to attach it to the uh, piece of plastic there. And once that's in place, um, yeah, that's good and secure. We're gonna now attach it to the mechanism that, that springs the uh, claws into action here. And just to see if on principle it will work. So if that's held in the place like that, this elastic band is in place and yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna work. The elastic band's not strong enough. 
So what we're going to do is the old trick and we just take it and twist it till it's strong enough. So we're going to twist this into taking it shorter and actually hold on a little tighter. And when we're done with that, we should just be able to stick it in place. And that will be all the tension that we need if I've done this correctly. And if not, I can just wide it some more. And so that will be in place like that. Yeah, perfect. That's how it's going to work. And let's just see here if the uh, band is strong enough to hold it when we put our little piece in place here. And so that should just hopefully click in place and then release. There we go. That's beautiful. So now the piece that um, goes here and releases the bumper, I need to make that from a 3D space. So let's see if we can't uh, make a replacement for that. So here's our little piece we need to make up. It's got to fit on top of the cylinder. And it's got to fit in the rocker axis there, as well as lock the bumper in place. And in theory, it seems to be the right size and working. And so hopefully our cockpit will fit on and wow, perfect. It fits on there like a glove and both those switches are exposed. So that's exactly what we want. Next is the mechanism to move the lights up and down. So let's head to our space and build that piece. set in place and we'll be able to activate the pop-up headlights which is uh, very important for Batman because of the dark night I think that's what that means so yeah perfect so that in theory all of our gadgets are working now let's get the top of that car back on and we'll see how it comes together Alright, and as you can see, our pop-up headlights work, our bashing bumper, that works, and our catching claw, that works as well. So that's fantastic. We've All our gadgets are working. And the next thing is our uh, Batmobile needs a steering wheel, so we're going to go into our 3D space and we are going to make up a Batman steering wheel for this thing.
All right, now that we have our Batmobile steering wheel printed up, it should just um, slide into the, uh, the slot there, and Batman can now steer his Batmobile so it doesn't just drive in straight lines. Now the next awkward part is uh, the windshields here. Now we can get repro ones, we can buy them, but I'm thinking we're trying to make something up here. So I drew up a little um, template after a couple of loose trials, and we're going to cut it out and just see if this will kind of work. And uh, if, in principle, we can make a shape that'll fit in there and uh, kind of look like a Batmobile with it. Um, so it's still not fitting quite right. It's a little bit too big. And Trim it down a little bit and see if we can't work with it to get it to look somewhat better than that. So we'll trim it down and kind of fine tune it a little bit. But I think, in principle, we're going to be able to have uh, something that fits in there like that. Now, as far as material, I went to the dollar store, found these uh, translucent dividers, and found an orange one. I thought that might be a pretty close match for the orange of the uh, windows that were in the Batmobile already. So now we're going to go into PowerPoint and make ourselves a uh, black and white version of this template and put some tabs on it and then import that into the Cricut Design Space and cut it out. All right, now we have our little windows cut out here. Um, they should, for the most part, kind of slip in there and kind of be a, a good placeholder for uh, some repo or original windows if you find them. But uh, in a pinch, I think those will do. Kind of get you some windows going on here. The last thing is just going to print off a couple of uh, replacement stickers for the taillights. Or I guess those aren't taillights, they're actually like boosters, bat boosters. Once we have those in place, our Batmobile should be ready fight crime again. And just like that with the last sticker, we have our Batmobile up and ready to fight crime again. So if anybody's getting some ideas uh, to do some crime in Gotham, think again. Joker, we got you. Mr. Freeze, we're gonna get you. No one can stop the Batmobile. So there you go, there's our take on a 1984 Superpowers Batmobile restoration. I'm super happy with the way it turned out. I think it looks great, everything's working again, and we've had a lot of fun doing it. If you've had as much fun as we have, if you like what we're doing, like, subscribe, ring the bell, do all the YouTube stuff. If you'd like to support us on Patreon, you can do that, keep the channel going, but mostly, we hope to see you back here for the next video.